Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Remember the glasses I thought I lost yesterday? I found them, they were in the pocket of this hoodie. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. I've been known to cover a wide variety of subjects on this daily vlog channel. I always try to interject as much humor and comedy and fun into the vlogs as I can. Today is gonna to be a little bit different tempo than normal, however. I never want subjects like this to come across in a disrespectful or a mockery type of fashion. Visiting sites of tragedies that happened before my lifetime or before I can remember them happening in real time are sometimes easier than visiting something that I remember from my childhood or my young adulthood. I have visited Waco, Texas before and it was a definitely a very unusual experience because I watched that happen on television in real time. And this next spot falls into that category as well. So much, in fact, that when I got dropped off across the street at that shopping center, crossed the road and started to make my way through this park to my destination, I started to get the chills. An event that happened 17 years ago that at the time was the biggest mass school shooting in history. I'm not going to get into the specifics and the details of every angle of what happened. I'm not gonna match up screenshots from news footage to what it looks like now. I didn't bring the drone, I'm not gonna fly it around. I just wanted to come pay my respects to the victims of that horrible day. Oh man, there it is. Columbine High School and that digital sign on the right. It wasn't digital back then in 1999. And that's where that famous shot that said, Good Luck Band was. Gosh. Just seeing that really, man, strikes a chord. I don't know if it's because I've, you know, I've studied what happened, or maybe because I've watched all the documentaries, seen all the footage on the internet, or if it's because I remember it happening and watching it on TV. If you watch some of that old news footage, the police were camped out on top of these roofs across from the school and there's the school itself that's the building school is in session in fact all the kids are out in front of the building on their lunch break which would have been around the same time this is completely blowing my mind right now and not not in a good way so the building you see straight ahead the top floor was the library and after all of it happened they remodeled it the cafeteria is on the bottom floor. And if you watch a lot of those old news reels or look at pictures, you can match a lot of this up. The stairway over there was seen many times as students ran up in terror out of the building. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk off. Part of me wants to get a little closer, but out of respect for the students in the school, they don't need me roaming around up there. And I have to be completely honest, it really hurts my heart to even, to even think about everything that happened just right there where those students are on their lunch break. Alright, yeah, so if you just go up to the stop sign there and then walk up the sidewalk and it's the first so there's going to be two driveways at the front of the school for the school. It'll be pretty obvious to go into the parking lot. Then there'll be a short strip of that grass and we'll be in the park. And then if you just walk that way uh, on the um, little park road that you'll come to, you'll get all the way back to the corner and there's a sign you just go up the sidewalk. Yeah, it's cool to go back there. Oh yeah, that's public. That's that's fine. This is just... Uh, Where are you, you parked at? I took, an, I took an Uber. Yeah. Oh. I was, I was flying, so I just took an Uber. I'm honestly, I'm, just, I'm glad you guys are here, <laughs> honestly. I was kind of wondering if it was just going to be one of those things where, you know, just, anybody could just free roam around, so it's good. Well, we, we tried to prevent that, but don't know what's succeed. Right. Have Appreciate a good day. Yeah. You have my ID back, right? Yeah. Okay. Have a good day, guys. I had a feeling that was going to happen, and I'm really glad it did, because I got to thinking before I came here, what would happen if I got there? and there was no security, there was no police presence. They are watching this place like a hawk, as it should be. As soon as they approached me, I took my tripod out of my back pocket and let them know that it was only just a tripod and nothing more.
soon after that day, some crosses were erected right here on the side of this hill. But they were only temporary. Because shortly after that, they have honored those students with this memorial. On April 20th, 1999, in a senseless act of violence, 12 students and one teacher were killed and many others injured at Columbine High School. It was a tragic event that shook the Columbine and Metro Denver communities, horrified and saddened the nation and changed forever our perception of the safety and security with a school typical of so many across America. As I stand here, I just noticed there's some little animals right there burrowing in the ground. What's up, guys? <laughs> what you doing over there? What's that? Yeah? Yeah, it's good to meet you, too. You're a talkative little guy. That's cool. That's a creature I don't normally see. Whenever I travel, I always see different, not only terrain, but also different animals and bugs. All right, he's gallivanting off. There are memorials to the 12 students and the one teacher. And I want to give you a little information on each and every one of them right now. Daniel said goodbye to his father the night before at 7 p.m. On August 19th, he said, I love you, Dad. I'll see you tomorrow. John Tomlin loved cars, baseball, family, God, Chevy trucks, and the Green Bay Packers. Cassie loved snowboarding, music, hanging out with her brother, photography, traveling, and church youth group. Rachel Joy Scott, her final words when she was asked if she still believed in God, her answer was, you know I do. Very famous last words. Matthew was a 4.0 grade point student. It says here, he really enjoyed doing a Forrest Gump imitation. Stephen was very adventurous. And he always wanted to be a professional soccer player. And it says here that when he was 10 years old, he was on a plane, the turbulence was so bad, everyone else was scared and his response was, wow, that was cool. Let's do it again. Corey loved the outdoors. He loved hiking, camping, hunting, golfing, and going to Yellowstone to do some fly fishing. There are excerpts from Lauren's diary here, and it ends with, I am not afraid of death, for it is only a transition, for in the end, all there is, is love. On Isaiah Scholl's memorial, they have some Bible verses from the book of Isaiah, and one of them says, stop doing wrong, learn to do right. Kelly Fleming wanted to be a writer and after she passed away one of her writings was published in Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul 3. Daniel was a shy boy with a gentle spirit often charming and sometimes intense. He was just starting to come into his own. William Dave Sanders the teacher whose final words were tell my girls I love them. I know that might have been a little dramatic, but I felt it important to tell a little bit about each of the people who passed away on that day. Because I think sometimes in certain situations, what's important about history and horrible events like this, the people sometimes get bypassed and we concentrate more on the event. At sunset, looking pretty amazing. Thanks for watching this vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please remember, be good to each other. It's very important. 
vlog over.